Well, hello there, my viewers. Is your host here? It is Team Marai. And how are you doing on this Tuesday's edition? I am doing quite well, ladies and gentlemen. I have social media accounts, but don't worry. I'll discuss that after this part of the video is over. Now, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, in this video, it'll be strictly a link. You know why? There's an article, plus there's a video down below. Let's get into this conversation. Now, the question I have for you, how in the hell will you book the return of Cody Rhodes? How will you do it? In your opinion only. Not my opinion, your opinion. Okay? There's a video down below, Cody Rhodes discussed about some stuff. He was on last night's Raw. Well, it was the best of Raw, but they put it in, they put it into it, a little clip. Because it was still the holiday season. So they took some time off. That's good. So how in the hell will you book of his return? Of course he will continue his feud with Seth Frick Rounds. But the question is. Will he do it right away? Continue that feud? Or will that feud will continue later on in 2023? That's another question. Do you like their chemistry? Do you like the rivalry? It is very unique, you know? Very unique. And another thing is, do you think in the future it may happen or may not happen, these two guys will team up? Maybe Cody Rhodes will go heel. You never know. You never say never in the WWE. I think there will be a very unique tag team. Maybe it will happen, maybe not. But in the meantime, his destination is going after, probably is going to Rumble and headline WrestleMania, probably night one or night two. Right now, it's way too early to make any plans. I mean, we could discuss this all we want, but I want him to become champion. He deserves it, okay? I know a lot of you will not agree with me, but it's okay. Everyone has their own opinion. So I'm not going to read this article. You guys can read it for yourself, you know? Now, if he does return, mostly at the Rumble, my theory is he'd be like uh, number 29 or number 30, okay? Most likely, you know? Probably he's going to take the same page when John Cena did it back in 2008, number 30, and no one thought he would return. Now, does anyone thought it was going to be John Cena back in Rumble 2008? And Master Square Garden. Sorry, got a little tongue tied. Or you had a feeling that's gonna be him. You know? I was just curious. Now, I attended my only a time I attended the Royal Rumble. It was a very unique atmosphere. This is the time when a lot of key guys were injured. And that's the time when Triple H won it. And how would you book it instead of a Triple H one in that year? Who should have won in that year? That's the year that AJ Styles made his WWE debut. And I really thought, I know this is sounds silly now, I thought back then it was The Undertaker with brand new music. Of course, I was totally wrong. Oh well, it's okay. I'm glad that AJ Styles is still in the WWE. Maybe he'll finish his career in the WWE and just hang it up. Because he's not spring chicken, but he's still good what he does. So, I don't know if he will have one more run before he hangs up his boots. You know, he don't need any more tight runs, but he's a great performer. I'm talking about AJ Styles. I met him a couple years ago. I don't know if I ever told you that before. You know, we didn't have a long conversation. Because he just signed, and I took a photo with him. Took a, Yeah, that's it. Not, not a, a long conversation, because... It was a long line, so I totally respect that. So, it's on my YouTube channel somewhere. So, let's switch gears. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts. 
will be down below for sure. Now, if you want to be part of the Robert Show in any kind of form, time frame, just let me know and we can make arrangements. Because whoever watches your videos are on a different time zone. I'm on Central Time all the time. So that's about it. Now, back to wrestling, okay? I know I sound like a broken record. I do apologize. Now, very, very soon, the end of January, I will live in Lemon Color and do my live reaction of the Men's Royal Rumble. We'll make the return and debut. I'm assuming it's going to happen that way. If not, I'll be disappointed. And same thing for the women's. The return and debut, okay? If you don't want to be, if you don't want to be part of it, that's fine. I'm still gonna go live, and hopefully you'll be part of it. Maybe you'll change your mind. You still got time, so have a good one. And that wraps it up. What matches are you looking forward to? With the Royal Rumble itself, the Rumble itself, or just the uh, championship matches? You can just answer it if you want to. Have a good one. I'll see you guys tonight. Be hey, be safe, and of course, be careful. Later. And thank you very much. We watched my videos lately for the nice comments. Thank you. I appreciate it.